I'm giving you a buyer's guide on Samsung's brand new flagship S24 range. Stick around whilst we compare the main features of all of their devices so you don't buy the wrong one. And with Samsung offering some fantastic incentives to pre-order their device, you're going to want to stick around to hear what I've got to say so you don't order the wrong one. Samsung's line this year is everything we've come to expect from a Samsung release. We've got the S24, the 24 Plus, and the 24 Ultra, all of which are just small, minor refinements. But we're gonna jump into the spec sheet so you can make the right decision for your use case. All of the designs are an evolution on last year's model. So if you liked last year's design, you're probably gonna like this one too. The design similarities from previous year's models isn't just a Samsung issue. There isn't a lot of innovation in smartphone design outside of the foldable market. So this year's Samsung refresh has been brilliantly executed. The S24 Ultra has transitioned to a titanium body in keeping with the iPhone 15 Pro's transition from September. From the images I've been able to see online, the thing looks absolutely beautiful. The S24 and the S24 Plus still come with an aluminium body, but it looks brilliant and I cannot wait to see it and get my hands on it. All three phones come in the same color options, although they have slightly different names. We have titanium blue, green, and orange, which are Samsung online exclusive colors. So if you like these colors, you'll have to go directly to Samsung's website to order them. The other color options are gray, black, violet, and yellow. And you'll be able to pick any of these up from any other carrier or going directly through Samsung as well. I've ordered the S24 Ultra in titanium blue. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can see me give my initial impressions when I finally get my hands on it. The S24 Ultra comes with a 6.8 inch Quad HD Plus display, with the Samsung S24 coming with a 6.7 inch Quad HD Plus display, and the S24 baseline model comes with a 6.2 inch FHD Plus display. All of Samsung's S24 lineup this year come with 120 hertz refresh rate. They come with Corning Gorilla Glass and are IP68 rated. The S24 Ultra has the biggest battery coming in at 5,000 milliamp hours with the S24 Plus coming in just behind it with 4,900 milliamp hours, making use of that bigger chassis. The S24 has a respectable 4,000 milliamp hour battery, but the thing we all care about most is getting our phones through the day without having to charge. And this is where the S24 Plus wins out, with 31 hours of video playback compared to 30 hours for the S24 Ultra and 29 for the S24. All of these batteries are comfortably going to get you through the day, but I'm sure Mr. Who's the Boss will be doing a mammoth battery test on these things pretty soon. So make sure that you head over to his channel. The camera setup for this year's models is where we probably see the biggest difference. Whilst all models share a 12 megapixel front facing camera to capture those perfect selfies, the back of the phone gets a little bit different. Both the S24 and the S24 Plus all share the same lens on the back of the phone. They have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 10 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 50 megapixel wide angle camera with 30 times space zoom. If you're someone who has a need for 100 times space zoom, the S24 Ultra is going to be the one you have to get. The main camera on the Ultra is 100 megapixels, so if you need that detail and you need that 100 times space zoom, you can stop watching the video now and you can go and buy yourself the S24 Ultra. All phones come with Android 14 as standard, and this is the first year Samsung have promised seven years of software updates. So if you're someone who doesn't upgrade your phone very often, you can be confident that you're going to get seven years of the latest software and therefore the latest protection. Your phone will probably be on its last legs come seven years. But it's nice to see Samsung giving people the option to keep their phone, but also keep them up to date with the latest software and the latest security. This year's S24 range has come with a generative AI software built in. This is the same software that you're seeing on ChatGPT and other AI tools. Samsung have stated that you can turn off the generative AI tool in its settings. So if you're worried about it taking over your phone and then conquering the world, you're best off turn it off in the settings or steer clear of this phone. If you're someone who can't live without the S Pen, then the only option you have to consider is the S24 Ultra. If that's the case, you can stop watching the video right now and go and buy your phone. 
The S Pen hasn't really changed this year. And while it's a fantastic tool, if you can live without it, then there are many other things to base your decision on more than the S Pen. We need to talk about price. And the S24 Ultra starts at £1,249, raising all the way up to £1,549 for the one terabyte version. The S24 Plus starts at £999 for the 256 gig version, with the 512 gigabyte version coming in at £1,099. To even get into the S24 lineup for the baseline 128 gigabyte S24 model, that's going to set you back £799. But if you want to double your storage, it will take you up to £859 for the 256 gigabyte model. If you want a titanium body, a 100 megapixel main camera, a 100 times space zoom, the S Pen, and the biggest and best display possible out of all of the S24 lineup, then the S24 Ultra is the phone for you. If you want a large Quad HD Plus display, and you know that you're going to need a minimum of 256 gigabytes of internal storage, and you're confident you can live without all of the extra specs that we've discussed for the S24 Ultra, then the best phone for you is going to be the S24 Plus. And last, if you know that you don't need all of the specs that we talked about for the S24 Ultra, and you don't need the larger display for the S24 Plus, and your main concern is getting a good phone that's going to last you as long as possible with the seven years of upgrades that Samsung are promising, and that you know you don't need any more than 128 gigabytes of internal storage, then the S24 is going to be the model that's going to suit your individual use case the closest. If you want any of the Samsung online exclusive colors, which are the green, orange, and blue, then you're going to need to head over to their website and then you're going to have to source yourself your own SIM card. However, if you don't care what color you're going to have because you know you're going to stick it in a case, you're never going to see the back of it, and you don't care which carrier you're with, then I'd recommend shopping around. All of the carriers are offering these at the moment with all of the same offers that Samsung are currently offering. So you can really find yourself the best deal for you for the phone that's right for you. To encourage customers to pre-order their device, Samsung are given two massive incentives. The first is the option to double your storage free of charge. So if you order the 128 gigabyte baseline S24, you can elect to upgrade it to the 256 gigabyte version and it won't cost you a penny more. The second thing that they're gonna give you as an incentive to pre-order is a free Galaxy Watch 6. So if you're really interested in either of those things and wanna make most of that options, Make sure you head over to that website and pre-order before the 30th of January. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below on what your thoughts of the S24 lineup are. Speak soon. Out.